My pleasure to introduce the uh, 2018 valedictorian and salutatorian, valedictorian Peyton Deets and the salutatorian Sarah Hunter. So, congratulations to these ladies on all hard work and, and uh, success. And I will turn it over to them and all of y'all. Thank y'all very much for being here. It's an extreme honor for me to be a part of it, and it's a great accomplishment for these young ladies. Thank you. Peyton, what were you involved in in school? I was um, in National Honor Society. I was in National Technical Honor Society, Student Council. Um, I was class president. Um, I was in the Key Club. And I was a varsity cheerleader. Um, and I was in FCCLA. And then, yeah. <laughs> Is this something you wanted to happen? Did you seek out being, when, when did you realize you were going to be number one in your class? Um, well, coming into high school, I had a goal to graduate in the top three people of my class. And so after freshman year, I was five. And so I was like, oh, I got to get there, got to get there. So I guess tried to work really hard to get all the way up to the top. Did it come naturally or did you have to study? Studied a lot, a lot. Sometimes I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do it. Okay, after graduation, uh, what are your plans? I am going to Baylor University and I will major in accounting. Well, I have been involved in many things in my uh, high school experience. I uh, was in Thespian Society. I haven't been an officer for two years in that. I've been involved in Key Club. I am involved in National Honor Society. I've been very involved in UIL spelling and prose and one act play. One act play I've done all four years of my high school experience. Um, I'm going to Austin College uh, next semester. I am undecided in what I'm going to major in uh, right now, but I do think I want to pursue a PhD afterwards, so whatever I decide to do there, <laughs> it, it'll be an adventure anyway. I've been involved in a community theater program called Shining Stars uh, for a lot of my uh, growing up, just in the community and such, and we do both do leadership, which is through the Chamber of Commerce. And then First United Methodist Church, the youth group, I've been super involved in that. Um, been doing work camp with the, all the different youth groups for the past like six years and gone on mission trips with the church and different things like that. Um, can you tell me a little bit about um, kind of what your, um, I know you said that, um, you know, your major and everything, but can you kind of tell me why you're interested in that? Um, I've always been super kind of math minded and numbers are my friend, words are not. So I was like, Trying to like go into something with math and numbers, and I feel like I can provide for my family well, visit okay. as well, and just interest me. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> okay. Now, have you been involved in like uh, different uh, counting math UAL type things? Or? Um, I have not. I've been I've taken several like extra math classes, okay. um, kind of as electives. I haven't really been involved in comp competing in those, but. Okay. <laughs> All right. And um, why do you want to pursue a PhD? That's a lot of school. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't really have a reason. I think it's just, I'm very unsure about what I want to do. And I think a PhD is just something that I can explore and I don't have to like settle down right now. And it just sounds like fun. <laughs> I'd like to be called doctor. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what for. Okay. And, um, Ladies, is there um, anybody or um, in your lives that have been um, particularly helpful or, or influential, maybe inspirations that you'd like to recognize um, or make known of? My name's like one and it's not my name. Um, <laughs> my parents have both helped me a lot and um, they've just like pushed me and helped me and prayed over me when I needed it. And then my sister, she's influenced me a lot. Um, she was salutatorian in her class, and so I was just like, I gotta get up there. I gotta get her. So how does it feel? Feels good. <laughs> no, what did, what did she think about that? Yeah. She was proud of me. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, how about you, sir? I would definitely say my parents have been extremely influential, um, especially my freshman year. My mom was always kind of like, okay, I know you're tired, but it's gonna be okay, and just always kind of in my rock for that. Okay. So. Um, any advice for other students who are hoping to, to do well or, or be at the top of their class? Um, just work hard, your work ethic. I don't think you'd actually have to like 
the smartest person. Because honestly, I don't think I'm the smartest person. I think just through work ethic and hard work, you can just achieve anything. And how many? I think a big part of it is just like don't worry about it. You know, just if it happens, let it happen, but don't stress out about it. Um, and just be nice to everybody. You know, part of my reason why I think I've gotten so far is that if you just if you're nice and you try to really be helpful to people, it comes through a lot better and, and people are more willing to uh, help you out in return. Okay. And just to work hard and, and don't stress don't don't stress about everything and just kind of pay it forward. Yeah. <laughs> if you stress out, it's just going to make it worse. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And what are there um, particular honors or things that you would like to make note of that you all received over the years? Well, like I was the president of our National Honor Society okay. and secretary of the um, National Technical Honor Society, too. Like, those are two big ones in mind, I guess. Uh, I think most of mine are on the sheet, but uh, I guess I've been in office for two years in uh, Thespian, Honor so or Thespian Society, and I've been in National Honor Society. And in UIL, we got second in state for spelling, and I was part of that team. And I made it to region and pros. And in one act this year, we made it all the way to area, and I, I gained a couple of solo acting awards uh, throughout that experience. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. No, is that a, obviously you've been very involved in that. Is that something that, that perhaps you'll continue doing? Or? Absolutely. I don't think I want to focus on it as a major, but I've, uh, in visiting Austin College, it's very open about this sort of stuff, so you don't have to be majoring it or anything to be involved. And uh, I just, the environment was really cool, so I think I'm definitely going to try to continue that in college. Okay, so it's a, the, the environment just sold you, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and how about you, uh, your choice of school? I'm going to Baylor University. Mm -hmm. um, my whole family's gone there, both my parents, several aunts and uncles, that's where my sister goes. So I've always been to Baylor Bear since birth. <laughs> So I just felt right, and I love the campus, the community. Okay. It's very like spiritually involved, and Christ is a big thing there, which was really important to me. Okay. So, um, so, so religion and your faith is a, is a very important part of it. Yes, ma'am. Very. Okay. okay. And uh, how about you? Anything uh, special like that in your life that you want to make note of? Um, I don't know. I just, I really think that community is really important, and. One of the things I really liked about Austin College is that they're extremely involved in everything. They have clubs and organizations that are uh, involved in, uh, you know, HIV prevention, awareness, and uh, raising awareness against death penalty and stuff like that. And just a lot of a lot of really active clubs, and a lot of environmentally friendly clubs that I was extremely interested in. Okay. So uh, environment and, and, and things like that are of concern or interest to you. <laughs> I'm very into the social uh, action part of it. Okay. Okay. Now, are you a social activist? Um, not quite the same yeah, way. Probably not. But, <laughs> but. Okay. All right. And um, any now, or have y'all received us uh, some scholarships and things like that that y'all are aware of yet? This one. You want to tell me a little bit about um, those? Or? I received. Like the amount, or just like where I got this. You know? Sure, whatever you well, want to tell me. <laughs> just, oh, I got some money from Baylor. Okay. I got a good scholarship there, and then I've gotten um, just some other kind of small ones here and there. Nothing like too big and. Okay. Every little bit helps, <laughs> <up>, right? Yes. <laughs> and how about you? Um, I've gotten merit scholarships just to places that I've applied to, uh, including Austin College. I've gotten. A good merit scholarship there, and then I also got one for a theater scholarship that I applied to there. Oh, good. Okay. 